Hey guys, what's going on? It's Iceki985 here with a brand new video, brand new series. It feels great to start something new. Also, I've never done Be A Jam really with Calgary, and I think it's a perfect team to like start with because they've had their troubles in the years past, and I don't know, I think I can make this team a playoff team maybe. Hopefully I can, that's what I'm here for, is to make this team a successful team, which not saying they haven't been, they've had tons of success in the years. Back in the day, they made it to the cup final of Tampa Bay, but Tampa Bay did win it. I forgot, I think that was 2006. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. We're talking about present time and future. We're going to make this team into a beauty squad. So, one problem I see with um, Calgary is they don't really have that many big names. Like, they do, don't get me wrong. They do. I'm not saying that in the wrong way. I'm saying it in, like, they do, but the like one of their best players is getting really old he's up there you know Giordano he's gonna retire soon so but he's a great hockey player and I want to get something out of this guy before you know he gets too old and no one wants him and I think we could maybe even get a big name out of him I don't know we'll see what happens but of course the other huge name is he's not going anywhere Guberto this guy is a monster I would love to have this guy on my team and I don't know, I'm excited to have him on the squad, see how he grows. And I don't know if the growing system is good with him on this game or not, but that's messed up if it isn't, because he sure does deserve it. So anyways, we're going to hop right in here, go through the preseason. Um, also, to all my Calgary fans out there, comment below, like the video. You don't really have to like it, just comment below and say you're a Calgary fan. I want to see how many I have. I know I have a couple. Like, cause I've I've seen uh, their profile pictures and stuff. It's pretty cool. I like Calgary personally. I think they're a good team. It's always cool, like talking about teams to other people. Like, you know, see how what they think of the Blues and stuff. See, I what I think about Calgary is I think they're a great team. They're gonna be really good soon. You guys stole a lot of our good players. <laughs> I'm just joking, but like, you guys did get a lot of the Blues players, which, in the long run, I think it's gonna help you guys a lot. Anyways, I think I'd stop rambling about real life and stuff i'll do a video about that later right now we're concentrated on this be a gm we're having a really really bad start we have maybe two wins i don't even think two wins we have a lot of losses so i'm thinking we're most if we don't get any good like we're not going to get any wins i think we just need to trade to be honest so once we hit the oilers i think we're going to make a big trade look at that two wins that is just Oh, that's gross. That's that should not be happening. We don't have a bad squad here, and we are dealing with injuries a lot. See, Guberto just got injured. That kind of sucks. Well, it doesn't kind of suck. It really sucks because he's a great player. Anyways, we're going in. We're gonna see who we have that has a lot of trade value that we could trade. Doesn't look like we have too many people that are like available to trade without losing a lot. But Giordano is a huge consideration. He is old, but he has tons of trade value, which I like a lot. That might mean we have to trade him. You see, I don't want to get rid of people like Sam Bennett. I don't want to, I'm not touching him. He's staying on the team. He's a great prospect. Same with Guberto and same with Monahan. I don't think I'm going to trade them. Maybe Monahan in the future, but it's going to have to be worth it. Um, So we're going to look at teams here that may have good players for a team we need some forwards we need a right winger real bad but we also need defense not as bad as a right winger but if we're getting rid of Giordano that means our defense is going to drop terribly like so I think if I trade Giordano I think I'm going to have to get another good defenseman back for him so we're looking around here Detroit doesn't have anything Dallas I mean they had Sagan and Ben but their trade value is way off like no way we're getting them. Here in the Oilers, we could get a player from here, but I don't really think it's a good idea because they don't really have any good right wingers, you know? They have Everly, but I don't think he's really worth all that trade value. He is in real life, but not now because he's getting old in the game. Yager. I thought about Yager, but he's old. Yeah, he might, he might help a bit, but at the same time, I think we need uh, younger players. The Wild don't really have anything. I was kind of interested in Eric Stahl but then I remembered he's old too and he only has one more year left so it's kind of like both not good for us because we're gonna have to sign him next year not worth it so we're moving on here 
to Montreal. Sorry about that. I was kind of yawning there. <laughs> um, no one in there either. You know, it's kind of hard to find somebody that's worth trading because we're getting uh, rid of one of our best players here. So we're gonna have to have a good player back in return at least. So we're just kind of flipping through the Rangers. Uh, they don't really have anybody worth either. I looked at Zuccarello, but once again, he can't grow anymore. His potential's done. He's not even a high rank. So, I mean, here we go. Uh, checking out Ottawa. Not really any forwards either. I mean, Carlson, but we're not going to get Carlson. That's a little crazy, don't you think? Anyways, we're going to Pittsburgh. So someone that did really spike my interest is Phil Kessel. I always... I mean, I always think that he's a great player, like, he's a good player in real life, and he's a good player in the game. As you can see, he has 6 goals, 7 assists, he's a plus 5, 32 shots, I think he's worth maybe trying to run for. But can we have anybody that max, like, meets even that trade value? See, and I was thinking Giordano at first, but I don't, I don't know, I don't really want to trade him for a forward, because then our defensive core just gets bad fast. And here we're going to check out um, the skaters that beat the block. And Giordano's on there, but I don't think we can mat like match that trade value. So I think we're just going to have to suffer through that. There's not really, it's not a bad thing though. I mean, Kessel, he's kind of old anyway. So here we're looking at Thornton. Uh, not Thornton, I'm crazy, sorry. Pavelski, of course. I love Pavelski. So we're looking at Pavelski. He's old, but he is someone that could be maybe on the future go get I don't know anyways here's coach sure he look, he's pretty interesting he's has good potential he's 88 overall but we already have a good center we have Monahan and he needs to stick as our first line center and here we're looking at the blues Terrence Angle did cross my mind but I don't think once again we're not gonna match that trade value he also I doubt the blues are gonna be even willing to give him up so yeah I was thinking about Perron too but it's his last year so it's not worth trying to go get him. He's also not too young. But someone that did stand out a whole bunch to me was Kevin Shattenkirk. It's a great defenseman. Yeah, it is close to his last year. He has two more years left. But at the same time, this guy is young. He can stay on the team for a long time. And it will just help us out overall. So I put Giordano up there. Giordano straight up would not go for Shattenkirk. So I put a second. The second does not go through. But I am willing to put... Two seconds, because we have three. Two seconds for Kevin Shattenkirk, somebody that will be with us forever, and the trade did go through. So, Sh Kevin Shattenkirk, welcome to the Calgary Flames. You're going to be great here. You're going to love it here. We have great fans. So, I think that was, that was the big trade that we needed, maybe. I think we need more offense, but I don't know who we can trade for it. If you guys have any clue... Leave in the comments. Do you guys think that was a good trade? Do you think this will help the team? Leave it in the comments below. Thanks, guys. This is mostly all of the video. Um, here, I'm going for Kucherov. I kind it kind of cuts out in the middle of me trying to get this. I'm sorry. The recording's going on for a long time. It's already at eight minutes. It goes on until nine minutes, and I don't want to go over ten minutes because I don't think you guys would watch that long. But hey, if you guys made it this long. Thank you so much. It does mean the world to me that you actually watch my videos. If you made it this long, comment below something like I made it or something. Just so I know, so I can like say thanks and stuff. It means a lot to me that you would watch this long. Anyways, guys, it's coming up. Time's over. <laughs> I'm going to go. I hope you all have an amazing day. Peace out.